Be an expert with our how-to videos for real estate. Here's some tips on the loan process. Hi, I'm Joe Massey with Castle & Cook Mortgage, and today we're going to be talking about rehab loans and some creative solutions that we have for you if you're thinking about buying a property that needs some work. So the first type of loan program that if you've spent any time doing any research on rehab or construction loans, you've probably heard about 203K. Now 203K is an FHA loan program and generally we talk about the Streamline 203K plan where you're allowed to finance up to $35,000 for repairs and rehab on a property. This program is a, is a great program sponsored by the FHA to help people purchase homes that need light renovation. When we say light renovation, what we mean are, is paint, carpet, um, maybe a small bathroom remodel, kitchen remodel, um, things like that. Cannot be anything major. You can't uh, move any structural walls. You can't change the roof line, things like that. Uh, but it's a great plan to allow somebody to purchase a property that needs a little bit of work and they can finance those repairs. So there's also going to be some downsides on a 203k loan. Um, the first downside, of course, is the interest rate and closing costs are going to be a little bit higher. And it's important to realize that the higher interest rate is not only going to be on the $35,000 of rehab funds, but it's going to be on the entire mortgage balance. So it can increase your total payment and your total repayment on the loan. Next, port, next important point is the rehab work needs to be done by an FHA approved contractor. We get a lot of phone calls from guys that call up and say, Joe, I'm really handy. I do a lot of tile work. I do a lot of construction work, and I want to do a 203K loan to rehab my own house. Unfortunately, it doesn't exactly work that way. It's got to be, the work has to be completed by a licensed and approved FHA contractor. So we've got a list from the HUD website of FHA approved contractors that you can select from. The next important point is you will have um, some additional costs with the appraisal and the upfront inspection. Your initial inspection, they're going to give you the list of minimum required items. You're going to work with your contractor on getting those items into his budget. So let's say it's maybe $10,000. Then you can use the remaining budget for your upgrades and additional items that you want to get financed into the rehab. 203K can be a very, very good loan program for people that understand it. A lot of times though, we caution people if you're looking to just get you know, an easy check to finance rehab, this might not be the best route for you. There's going to be some specific steps you have to take. Um, there are going to be some challenges. There's going to be some costs associated with it. But as long as we all know that going into it, um, we're comfortable helping, with, helping you with these loans. We do a lot of them. We just want to make sure the clients are fully educated and aware of what they're getting into. Now, because of the challenges of 203K, um, and we were seeing a lot of them you know, folks were starting on them but not getting all the way through the, to the closing, we really started to research what was going on with those and, and, and what could we do to help. And it came back to most folks that wanted to do a rehab loan were looking for anywhere from five to $10,000 in rehab. Generally what they wanted to do was some paint, some carpet, some new appliances, and maybe some new kitchen cabinets. Now that's not going to take a full $35,000, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to pay higher rate and closing costs on a huge loan amount plus $10,000 of rehab if there might be an alternative solution. So what we came up with is we've been working on getting people approved for a traditional FHA mortgage. As long as the property is in average condition and doesn't have any major damage to it, we'll give you a regular first mortgage with an FHA. Then after the closing, you can go to your local Home Depot and they have a product called the Project Loan. Um, this is a great program that allows you, if you qualify for it, to take out a line of credit with Home Depot that you can draw on that line of credit for up to six months for any materials and you can also pay any Home Depot approved contractors for the work. So maybe you need some appliances, maybe you need some paint, some carpet, and you want to redo one of the bathrooms. So you can go to Home Depot, you get, let's say, a $15,000 line of credit. You go through, you do the work. Once the work is completed, Home Depot then takes that line of credit and puts that on a term loan. It's termed out over seven years with a fixed interest rate so you know exactly what your payments are going to be. Now, your interest rate is going to be a little bit higher than on the first FHA mortgage that you have, but it's going to be on a very small balance. 
So interest rate's gonna be pretty minimal and the total repayment of that is gonna be pretty minimal because you're paying it off in such a short period of time. This is really a great option for folks that wanna do the work themselves or folks that, that don't need major um, renovations to get the property up to livable standards. If the property is in good shape and just needs a little bit of updating, please call me and we'll talk about this FHA and Home Depot project loan combination that we can, can help you with and make sure that, that this is actually more beneficial for you than a 203k loan. And again, other times, depending on what the property needs, we might talk about a 203k loan and we just again want to make sure you're familiar, understand the process and the costs uh, and we'll help you through the whole pro process. So thanks for stopping by to talk about rehab loans. Um, look forward to seeing you on our next video.